pasta. So today's recipe is rice kanji. It's very easy recipe. So this recipe is specially for kids who are like sick or it's not only for kids. You, everyone can take it. And I've taken here half a cup of rice. I'm just going to wash it like three to four times with plenty of water. And after washing it, I'm just going to blend this in the pulse mode for about four to five, five, five times until the rice breaks into two to three parts. And uh, in a white pan, I'm just going to take away all the mixture, the blended mixture. And to half cup of rice, I'm just going to add two glasses of water. And I'm going to add uh, two to three garlic that are finely chopped. Don't worry about the chunks. They get really mashed up when they are fully cooked. And again to this, I'm going to add about half spoon of cumin powder, which really helps in digestion. And stir it all together. So as I told you, this recipe is really helps out when your kids are sick, not only for kids, everyone can consume it. So the consistency that I'm looking for is like kanji consistency. So and I'm going to bring this to a boil and turn the stove to medium and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, you could see the rice are like 90% cooked. And I just prefer to add some more water. My daughter, she's not well. So I just prefer to give her like a watery consistency. So you can add as much water you want. At the end, I'll show the consistency, how to, uh, I mean, the kanji consistency. So after five minutes, the rice are perfectly cooked now. It's the stage to add salt. So I'm just going to add required salt. And uh, I'm going to mash it up with the help of a masher. As I told you, my daughter prefers to eat like, um, like uh, this consistency that I, that I will show you at the end now. And I'm going to add about half spoon of cumin powder again. And that is all. Give it a good stir. And that is all. Rice kanji is absolutely ready. Please do try it at home. It really tastes good. And uh, I told you about the consistency. So it should look like this. It's perfect. And I prefer to give, give it to my kids when they are at sick. And now the taste is, it really tastes good. Try it out and let me know in the comment section. I hope you like this recipe. So if you like this recipe, give it up a big thumbs up. And if you're still new to my channel, please click on that red subscribe button and also the notification bell button. So that next time if I upload a new video, you'll be getting notifications that I've uploaded a new video. So I'll catch you in my next video. Until then, stay happy.